Hello everyone, welcome to the new Impressor tutorial, which is a great website where you can create online presentations, record your voice, and then embed the slideshow into another site. What you want to do first is go to Impressor.com, and then you want to click on Sign Up Now. At the sign up page, try to use info down there that you can easily remember. Uh, come up with login info, and then go all the way down to the bottom, check off the box, and hit Submit. After you've logged in for the first time, this is going to start to build up to be your um, your main page where you can edit existing impressors or play them, email them or publish them, whatever you're going to do. But the first time you're going to do is you're going to click on Create New, which would be right over to the right. Since we're starting brand new, we're going to click on Start with a Blank New Page, or you can upload an existing PowerPoint if you have one. If you've ever made a PowerPoint before, you're going to see the layout is very similar. What I need to do first is I want to start to add text and pictures. If you want to add text, click on the text button over here, and it's going to automatically bake a box, which you can drag around. You can double click on it, and you can then add your text. You can come on over to the side, and you can make the text bigger by making sure that you've highlighted it. You can change the color around. Uh, you can make it bold, underline, center it, whatever you got to do. And then you can add it that way. My next step that I would like to do is try to upload some pictures. Look on the bottom of your tabs and click on Upload. And then you're going to browse for the files that you have. Wherever you have your files stored are the ones that you want to find. I would recommend you look on your H drive to find yours. Click and drag a couple pictures and then hit Open. It's then going to upload them around the bottom and you'll see them processing. Once you have your pictures into your library, you're going to drag the pictures one at a time to the space. So I'm going to make sure I click on my first slide and you could zoom in and out if you want to make your slide a little bit bigger like I have here. And you're going to then drag that picture up to that area so it's no longer a red X and let go of your mouse. If you want to add more pictures, do the same thing. If you need to add a new slide, click on Add off to the left, and then add, click on that slide, and move your next pictures up. Continue that process until you have all of your slides with pictures filled up. You can also click on the Import button down below, where you can select uh, one of these popular search engines, especially if you have your own Flickr account or Yahoo account. You can type in a search word and then grab that picture up into the space as well. Or if you know the URL of a picture, you can put that in there and then take it that way. If you begin to have too much stuff on your page, you can move these objects around, you could shrink them, you can overlap them, you can slightly rotate them. You can also add transparency effects if you want to make some of them lighter in shade. You can align them to the screen. You can also send them to the front or the back like you much would in PowerPoint. You can add other things to a slide along with some shapes where you can find some of those. You can look under your properties or info. You can find different shapes that you can do if you want to put in a table or even a chart. There's a lot of fun things that you can include in there to make it informative for your slide. And if you don't want something, just make sure you have the blue dots on it and press delete and it will go away. Another thing you can do is go to the record option and you can go to snapshot and what you can do is you can take an individual photo of you with a built-in web camera that you might have. Then make sure you add it to your library if you want it. If you click the video tab right here you just hit the red button and you can also record a video screen and add that to your library. And your other option is to record a voice narration for each picture. You can click on the red dot and it will tell you what your narration is and then you just click the stop when you're ready to stop it. You can play it. Click on the red dot and it will tell you what your narration is and then you just click the If you like your narration, you then add it to your library. The only catch is it's going to add it to your library, but you don't know what it is. Just click on edit and uh, you can change the title if you need to.